Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video, we're going to discuss the uh, South African squad uh, for the Rugby World Cup. Uh, not so many surprises, but a few interesting choices. So uh, let's get on with the video. There were 19 forwards and uh, 14 backs selected. And included amongst those were uh, four scrum halves, which is a little bit surprising. But uh, i got to be honest, uh, South Africa have an embarrassment of riches in the number nine jersey. We've got Grant Williams, Reinach, uh, Hendrixa, and of course, Faf de Klerk. So um, those are players I don't see that you can really leave out. Um, Faf, they even talked about him playing 10, and he's a great kicker as well. So um, he's going to be indispensable to the team, I think, in the long run. But uh, yeah, I was really impress impressed by Reinach in the uh, in the last game against Argentina. Uh, Grant Williams, absolutely fantastic to see. He didn't have any long lasting injuries after that uh, terrible collision against Argentina in the previous game. So uh, yeah, uh, it's understandable that they picked those four. The Springboks also have a great uh, choice on uh, the wingers as well. Um, they've got, uh, they've selected Arenza, um, Colby, LaRue, Impimpi, and Moody. Now that's a world-class choice they, they've got to choose from. And of course, uh, LaRue can play uh, multiple positions, which is something the, the coach uh, Jack uh, alluded to in the press conference. In the forwards, there weren't that uh, many surprises really. Um, I will say uh, Vermeulen, uh, who I love, uh, Thor's hammer. Um, he has made a tremendous effort to get back in this side before the World Cup. Um, last year, last season, uh, he was, uh, people were writing him off, I think, a little bit. But uh, his fitness levels are up and he's had a couple of great performances in the last few matches he's played. And also uh, at the captain's armband in a couple. Obviously a great leader and uh, that's going to be really important when they hit the World Cup. All in all, the selection and uh, the way Jacques talked about it is like all about uh, covering positions and the fittest players being selected. And uh, some of the combinations he talked about were like kind of surprising. For example, um, Faf at 10, Willems at 10, Leroux at 10, Moody at 13, which I think I'd, lo <laughs> I'd love to see that. Um, Willemsa can play like 10, 13 or uh, 15. Colby at 15 or 14. So there's lots of variation they can employ in the back line. And I'd be interested to see how much they use that. Because at the moment, uh, Leboc is there only out and out uh, number 10. So uh, that's going to be really interesting to see how they how they shape up for the for the matches, especially the pool matches as well. Whether they're going to give someone like Faf, like would they give him a starting berth at ten? You know, uh, that'd be interesting to see. Like Colby can play ten as well. You know, it's kind of crazy to think about. But uh, they've got plenty of variation in the backline. Um, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Like I'm not sure. But uh, we're going to find out soon. As for notable omissions, Am, um, unfortunately, uh, who was playing really well uh, in on uh, Saturday, I think it was Sunday, Saturday, against the Argentinians. Um, yeah, his leg is kind of donezo. And um, yeah, he's going to miss out on World Cup selection at the moment. Pollard hasn't made a full recovery yet in terms of match fitness and uh, he's out as well. Uh, the Yaga is um, a bit of a mystery. Um, the coach refused to like elaborate on what the actual injury was. He said this is his chest or something, but uh, like made it sound like he had his heart broken or something. Uh, so I hope he's okay, you know. Um, so uh, yeah, that was a bit of a bit of a weird one, a bit of a curve ball to throw in the press conference there. I personally would have liked to see, uh, like to have seen uh, uh, Rus there, um, the number eight. Um, I think he's a, a fantastic player, and he can only get better. And this World Cup experience would have, like, really, like it. I think 
he he is one who would respond really well to the pressure of the game but there wasn't to be uh, maybe he'll get a chance uh, later on down the road and speaking of that um jack uh, did kind of talk about am and pollard like they were still in the squad which was a bit weird that's the only kind of gripe or uh, question that i have about the selection is that uh, he was talking about them being fit for the Scotland game, being fit for this game, being fit for that game. But they're not in the squad. He can't choose them unless a player is injured. So uh, that's kind of second guessing his original choices, I, th I think, a little bit. So I think he, he, he made a little bit of a misstep there. Um, if Pollard is is fit to be selective, if, if it's necessary, then great. Same with Am. They're two fantastic players, but, you know, don't talk about them in the press conference you know so i thought that was a little bit of a mistake from him but uh apart from that i think a very strong team i've entitled this uh video the squad because um yeah th that's basically what it's going to be it's going to be people backing each other up um they've got a great pack as always and in the back line it's going to be mix and match i think uh as and when needed and um, yeah, they have the players and the talent to do it. Uh, Le Boc looks like the, the the choice for number 10, which I think is um, fair enough. I mean, he's obviously got plenty of confidence and I think he can carry the team given enough time. But um, yeah, um, I, I, the squad, uh, a great team to try and make history. And uh, that's what South Africa are trying to do. If you don't know, um, they're, they're trying to go back to back. They're the reigning world champions. Um, and New Zealand have already done that once, but they haven't won the World Cup four times. So that would make uh, South Africa one. Of, they arguably are one of the greatest uh, world team, uh, World Cup teams ever. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think about the squad selection. Um, and uh, yeah, put it in the comments. Uh, if you've made it this far, please uh, like, subscribe, uh, comment, imp most importantly, and uh, share, maybe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.